What is going on, my fellow army? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, I hope you came prepared and packed an umbrella because it's about to rain. But don't worry. Don't worry. I'm never going to let my fellow army hang in, okay? I got an umbrella, and I'm willing to share it with you. I'm such a good person. <laughs> so I'm willing to share my umbrella because, according to the weatherman, BTS says it's going to rain. And that's what we're listening to today. Today we're continuing our dive into dark and wild, and we are going to be listening to rain. When it rains, it pours. I don't have a good transition into the song, so let's just go to the song. Good transition. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Rain. I'm 
I like this melody a lot. I like that piano in the background. I think there's some things to take away from this song. Uh, the, there's a lot of notion of color, or rather lack thereof color, the color gray. Um, and I will say also, let's back out for a second. I will say also that rainy days are viewed one of two ways by types of people, okay? Generally speaking, nobody really likes a rainy day. More specifically, being caught out in the rain of a rainy day. But there is something nice to a rainy day. I find comfort in it. If it's raining, but it, it, even if it's kind of like pouring, but it's not thunderous and all you can really hear is like the rain hitting the outside of the house or, or, the, or the apartment or the window, right? There's something like hypnotizing and kind of relaxing to it, but it can be a bit dull. And the notion of looking into the puddle, looking into the into the city, the thick color, the color gray, desaturation, no vibrancy or anything like that. There might be something to take away from that. And the and looking back at looking into the reflection of a puddle and seeing a more miserable version of yourself, that could be something to look into too. I love the rain, but like I said, I don't like it when it thunders. I do even heavy rain I like, but I don't like the thunder and the lightning and stuff like that. This is definitely an interesting uh, one. Uh, so we'll take a look at it. We'll go slower in this one. Above soul of a deep color in the rain. Racing cars, gently shaking umbrellas here and there. Cloudy sky, clear air. Reflected in the puddle formed by now stopped rain. Why did I, with a light gray background, pause to stand here? I don't know if I have a lot of thoughts or no thoughts at all. This could be a brain fog scenario. <laughs> that happens sometimes. When it's about to get bright outside, I wake up from my sleep. With my exhausted hands, I keep brushing over my hair. The memo pad of a song that I couldn't complete last night. I'll finish it today. I shut my eyes tight and let out a deep sigh. How should I make excuses? I try to make something up. I couldn't do it anyway, so I might as well just make something up and send it. Mmm. We have those sluggish days. That sluggish day is also a good a good embodiment of a sluggish day is a rainy day. Mmm. Okay. As I turn my eyes, it's fully colored in the gray outside the window. A gray building in a gray city, the gray rain on a gray road. Everything in this world is slow. Okay, here we go. My younger brother, awakened from his sleep, keeps slurring his words at the end. So this is a younger sibling or any friend who is younger. I translated this as brother followed by the his, where the brother is a friend who's younger, for example, Jimin, V, or Jungkook, because I'm imagining the background of the scene to be BTS's house. However, considering that RM has a younger sister, this could also be translated as my younger sister awakened from her sleep, keeps slurring her words at the end. Mm -mm, okay. That's a good, yes. Uh, dual set was, I, I agree with her in this in this instance. Could be referring to her, her his most likely real biological younger sister. Or in this instance, because we know that they're working and they're living together. Uh, the instance of the younger brothers, Jimin, V, and Jokok. Yes. Okay. It is interesting how uh, he is, uh, he's the leader of the group, but he's smack dab in the middle of when it comes to ages. <laughs> I again open and close the innocent refrigerator with the unknown empty feeling washing over me. That notion of opening that refrigerator, right? You look inside. This happens when you're hungry. This is like a, this is like a, I kind of like this song. The more I'm looking into it. You know when you're hungry? No, you know when you're not really hungry, but you want to eat, but you're not hungry. So you open the refrigerator, you look inside, and then you just close it. And you're like, I've actually been called out by my family. Like, why do you keep opening the refrigerator? And I'm like, because I don't know what I want to eat. Uh, uh, with that unknown empty feeling washing over me. This is a very like, what that like slow day song. I think that I should go outside without even an umbrella. The sound of rain touching the world feels vivid. It does feel nice. It does. Yeah. I put on a brief smile at the best background music. I hum like a crazy guy. I wonder what time it is. <sighs> this is an interesting song. You know what else? Shout out to my Dragon Ball Z fans out there. 
I always think of Vegeta in the rain. You might know what that is. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a famous thing from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> the rain just pouring on Vegeta. Above soul of a deep color rain, of a of a deep color in the rain. I still not being able to fall asleep. Fade away. Reflected in the puddle formed by now stopped rain. I looking even more miserable today. Am drown. Am drawn on the water. The rain that knocks on my window in a rainy night hits my heart. A text that I read or read, holding my my sore shoulder. How are you these days? The text from a friend makes me soaked in emotion. Smelling the scent of the wet rain. It does have a smell too. That uh, Yeah, yeah. I stretch my body, go to the bathroom, say hello to myself, half asleep in the mirror. And take a longer shower even though I have no one to meet. This is just a day of relaxation. But like borderline relaxation. You're not relaxed. You're bored. You're brain fogged. It still rains outside the house. House here is the dorm where BTS members live together. Yes, we do know that. I am interested in this little tidbit. I'm sure ARMY can let me know about this. It does get a little bit confusing. Um, when they're on album number four, but I do know that the first... That back-to-back -back albums by BTS really don't have that much time in between. So you have uh, albums that are coming out not you know, a year later, two years later, I'm talking like months later. So even though this is album number four, this is still a very young BTS. This is still a very new BTS. Um, still up and coming, finding success, but not, oh, we all live in separate houses now, um, or we live in a, in a really, really nice big house where we all have our own individual rooms. This is still a young BTS, still kind of going through the motions of a of success. Uh, with nowhere, uh, uh, yeah, with nowhere in particular to go, with an umbrella, I plod along without a set destination, just wandering around with the rain. The rain makes its mark on my dirty shoes, as if it's letting me know its existence. Would I be someone who left the mark on you like the rain like this? So leaving an impression on someone, probably listening to their music. If not, would I be someone who just comes and goes like a sudden shower? Mm. You listen to the music, you're not really connecting with it, it just passes by. Above soul, on a deep color in the rain. I still, not being able to fall asleep, fade away. <laughs> Those nights of, like, you're trying to fall asleep, but you're not really asleep. But, but you're not in a deep sleep, so you're not resting, but you're not awake either. <laughs> I, I have an appreciation of this song. This, this isn't, you know, reaching my favorite song on the album. Like, I have my number one and number two kind of, like, set right now, or even number three. But there's something weird about this song that I kind of like. Uh, I'm going to give an example also at the end that this this song kind of also reminds me of something. When I look outside the window as I heave myself up and feel sore, it's raining as if it knew how my body would feel. Fatigued, not fully rested. I feel as I see the raindrops gathered on the window that they are like teardrops flowing down my heart. Putting, putting the subtleness behind, I look outside where it looks like my situation. Everyone is. Oh, what is this? What is this word? What is this word in reference to? Andante. Andante, at a moderately slow tempo. Is that Italian? <laughs> so everyone is slow in the rain falling like a melody i didn't know that word okay i get ready and go outside opening up the umbrella that was as wrinkled as my face as i walk listening to the rain i wonder who this rain is falling for the sound of the rain touching the lonely gray cement stimulates my senses of hearing above soul of a deep dark of a deep color in the rain, I still not being able to fall asleep fade away. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is an interesting song. This is an interesting song. This is song sort of embodies, I would say perfectly, moods that we all find ourselves in. Slow days, brain foggy days, confused days. Not feeling at 100%, feeling, feeling, feeling enough energy to function, but not enough energy to be productive. Um, just that, you know, that day that you want to just stay inside and do nothing because it's kind of 
crappy weather outside. It's a little rainy. It's a little gray. It's a little bleak. But I don't know. There's something weird about this song. And when I mentioned earlier, there's another thing that this song reminds me of. I'm getting a lot of references. I mentioned already Vegeta with Dragon Ball Z, right? But if you're familiar with Lavender Town from Pokemon, there's a certain uneasiness to that town. Um, I mean, there's a reason why it's a bit uneasy because it's kind of like, it's kind of like, it, it, there's like a sense of, it has that encapsulation of being a little creepy, a little uncomfortable, but still comforting at the same time, especially the town music. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I would recommend that you look at it, look, look up the song. Um, there's a lot of strangeness in regards to that town and that song. I'll, I guess I'll put a link in it, link to it in the description box. If you're curious, there's something weird about this song. Uh, it invokes a strange feeling in me that I really can't place my finger on. That grayness. Um, what are your thoughts on the song? This is one that I definitely want to hear back from ARMY. It's comforting but unsettling. It's relatable, but, you know, relatable in not a positive way, but not even in a negative way. So let me let me know your thoughts on this song in the comments down below. A am I making any sense? Maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. Um, but I, I love the... Maybe, maybe, because sometimes, often than not, if I can't figure something out or figure out how to put it into words, Army out there can, gets what I'm saying, and then they can put it in words for me. I don't know. Um, so let me know, let me know your thoughts in the comments in, in regards to, in, in regards to Rain on this album. There's something about it. I don't know. Uh, thank you for being a part of this deep dive discussion into Rain. Uh, stay positive. Stay hydrated. There's plenty of rain, I guess, so we'll be plenty hydrated. Uh, take a stroll outside. If, the, if it's raining, get an umbrella. Just walk around. Appreciate the surroundings. If it's raining, you know, listen to the rain fall. Appreciate the noise. It's nature. It's a beautiful thing. Um, but yes, thank you for being a part of this deep dive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Rain. A big shout out to my YouTube members. Thank you so much for your generosity and your support. Thank you, Liliana. Thank you, Millie the Bean, and thank you, Kelsey. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it.